guys one way up here back with another video and in this video I'll be telling you the story about how and why I decided to stop eating meat for a period of time in my life basically how it went and the funny story as to how I decided to stop doing that and the day I went back to eating meat so this whole story started off back in 2016 this was during the end of the first quarter of that year and during that year of 2016 I was really focused and motivated towards my goal of playing college basketball so during that year mentally I was locked in in the things that I was doing I had momentum when it came to me getting things done in my life and staying on top of things so that was definitely one of the things that helped me to stay consistent with not eating meat for that period of time which was about two and a half to three months and it allowed me to really stay focused on avoiding eating meat during that period of time one thing i learned about this whole process of me not eating meat was that in order for you to really make a change in your life any sort of major change that requires a good amount of focus and discipline you definitely have to be mentally in the right place and motivated to want to do it or to actually get it done more so because doing things that are actually life-changing or something that will have a significant impact in your life if you want to change something about yourself you definitely need to be in the right mental space to get it done because it's going to require a lot of focus and energy and effort on your end because you're basically changing who you are before i go into the day i decided to stop giving up eating meat i've had brief experiences or flashes of thinking about doing this in the past by meeting someone who was at the park and who i used to play basketball with he was 30 years old now he told me his age one day and i was so surprised because he literally looked like he was 22 years old and he said his secret was to he gave up eating chicken basically and i was also watching another youtuber at the time he was an athlete a basketball player and one of the things that he said was that he's never ate meat for at least over the course of his athletic career so he pretty much stopped eating meat for years and he had no chances or no inclination to go back to eating meat so when it came to that day where i decided to stop eating meat it was pretty much just like a random idea i was like okay i'm pursuing my goal of playing basketball so let me just try and do this one thing while I'm focused and just basically see where it goes and uh, how far it takes me. So my goal wasn't to stop eating meat for the rest of my life, but I just wanted to do this and see how it went. If I did end up not eating meat for the rest of my life, then I'll be totally fine with that, but I just wanted to see where it went. So my goal was not to completely give up meat altogether because that would be being a vegan and also giving up plant, I mean, animal-based products which I wasn't going to do what I wanted to give up was chicken pork beef all those kinds of meat but the only thing I would still eat would be fish I was definitely was not giving up fish because I feel like for me personally you the guy that I met I think fish is a great alternative to meat now it may not be the healthiest kind of meat you can get at any place you go because different places make fish differently and use different types of qualities of fish but I wanted to at least start with meat first and I feel like giving up the major red meats would help me to transition into possibly giving up fish in the future but I didn't really see that happening the funny thing is during this time I was not eating chicken, beef, things like that. I was eating healthy and unhealthy at the same time. As far as me substituting meat, I did start to eat a lot of tofu and meat alternatives I got from this organic store. I started going there a lot more. 
and I would still eat Chinese food, but I would avoid the pork fried rice, the, the sesame chicken, things like that. And one of the things I got was shrimp and broccoli or plain fried rice when it comes to fast food restaurants and things like that. So it was a little bit better in a sense, but overall, not all my food was better. So I did eat healthy at times when I had the time to cook. So I did start buying a lot of spinach and kale and carrots and things like that and a lot of meat alternatives and cooking those things, which I did feel better those days that I did eat healthy. Throughout that whole process, I did feel good mentally because I was committed to doing something, I was staying focused, I was learning new things about myself and also trying new foods and going to different places that there wouldn't normally be. So I did learn new things and I did feel better mentally. But when it came to me feeling better physically, I didn't know too much of a drastic difference. I didn't really feel that much better. And that could be obviously because I wasn't eating the healthiest way. But I still did feel good and better overall. So when it came to the day that I decided to eat meat again was I just started this new job at a restaurant. I was working in the kitchen and my first day on the job they had me cleaning dishes in the kitchen and they had the chefs and other people on the other side of the wall and I was basically working for like seven hours straight just washing dishes and just moving stuff around in the back. And I was so hungry, I lost track of time. And then one of the chefs from the other side of the wall peeked his head over and asked us, hey, you guys want some food? And I was like, yeah, of course, definitely want some food. And then I just continued to do my work. About 10, 15 minutes later, he came over with a plate of food. We put it down by our workstation. I remember like take, eating some of the food while I was working at the same time. And the funny thing is, about halfway through this plate of food, I looked down and I realized I'm eating chicken. Now, at that point, that realization didn't really shock me or I didn't really care too much in that moment because I was so hungry and that chicken tasted so good. And they had, I remember they had this mild sauce on it. And from that day forward, I became a fan of mild sauce. So I was too hungry and that food tastes too good for me to really let it care and affect me. I didn't feel bad or disappointed in anything. I just continued to finish that plate of food. And from that day forward, I started eating meat again. Now, I do plan on trying this again in the future, but doing it better in the sense that I'm really gonna cut out more unhealthy foods and I want to record my process and basically keep you guys updated to see how it goes and where it takes me and if I end up actually cutting out meat for the rest of my life. So I look forward to doing that in the future and seeing how it goes. I'm definitely planning on doing this soon and I'd like to thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video.